Hey, what's up guys? It's Umishday3 here. I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on several Minecraft things on uh, basically how to make a calculator like this uh, with a working seven segment display and all of that good stuff. Um, and I will show you piece by piece, quick overview, decimal to binary converter. I have four bits because I didn't want to make a super big one because there's really no point. Um, it has been done, so I figured I would just make one that functions and show you how to do each piece. Um, then we have these four bits from each uh, we have, you know, the top number plus the bottom number as it's set up over there. Uh, these four bits are fed into a series of full adders that are set up in a ripple carry um, form or whatever you want to call it. These five bits, but it's four and then, you know, the fifth because of the carry out of the final one. Um, these binary are, or this binary is converted back into decimal here. And then all of these lines, which took up most of the time, are just to drive all of these seg seven segment displays. Okay, I wish it wasn't nighttime now, but oh well, here we go. I'm going to show you how to do the binary to decimal converter first. Um, just a quick example, we're going to add 9, which will be the bottom number here, plus 9. Um, of course, it pops up a 9 first because it's adding 0 by default. This will switch to 18. 9 plus 9, last time I checked, is 18, um, so that's good. Uh, so here, I will show you how to do this. Um, if you have an instant splash potion or instant damage splash potion on, feel free to use that because it won't break any of your pieces and you can still kill all of the annoying animals. Um, if you're not familiar with binary, this is how it's set up. This is a truth table. Um, Google it and learn it well because that's what you're going to need to know. Binary 0 is all zeros. Binary 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Binary 2, 0, 0, 2, or 0, 0, 1, 0. Um, so that's how this is going to be set up. If you're not familiar with binary, you're not going to be able to understand how to do to do this probably anyway, so um, sorry about that, but uh, there's not much I can do for you. Here I'm actually going to change this slightly to make it more, uh, a little bit easier to see from where I'm going to be. So this is the basic setup you're going to have. Uh, your decimal output is going to be coming from a single switch here, just going to have one for zero through nine. I'm not going to take the time to build them all because um, if you just see one or two then the rest will make sense to you. So when you flick this switch it will activate it and right now, this is a zero in binary technically, so that's why all four of these are still reading the zeros. The way you're going to do it is you're just going to put a redstone torch. Um, so over uh, each of these lines, wherever you want the, uh, the bits to be read high. So for a binary one, we're going to want zero, 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 one. So zero, 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 and then we have a torch here, so it's one. Right now, the redstone is on because of this right here. And then uh, when the switch is thrown, that's turned off, which is negated, so this will flip and we'll turn on this redstone torch, which turns on this line. So we will see here, we want a binary of 0, 0, 0, 1. So we flick this and we get 0, 0, 0, 1. If we want to switch this, I'll just leave the switch on. If we wanted a 3, we would just do that. Um, it's a very simple design. You would just do that for each one. And then this, uh, the output, if you just want to put a redstone torch on the end and make sure it doesn't affect any of your other redstone so you don't get any false numbers, uh, this was just what I used on the end to drive the uh, seven segment display for the, uh, the second number of the input here. So to build a series of these, let's see, I will break this now, just to get out of the way. Um, you're pretty much just going to build a line of these across for each one and you can't have them touching because redstone will connect like this um, and you don't want that so you're going to break all of those pieces okay and then you have this it will be exactly the same as the other one oh need a switch put a switch you put a redstone torch on the back of it um, if the switch is not thrown the redstone torch will be on so that's what we want here a redstone repeater and then redstone all the way across the top so a uh, binary of zero is all zero, so really you don't need a switch for that unless you want to have a dummy one that looks the same, um, but is really just driving the, uh, the display up there. So that's what I did. I don't even have these four bit lines going under that. Here we'll put a torch. So we have zero, 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 one, and this one we're going to want zero, zero, one, zero. So we're going to flick a switch to test this, and we have zero, 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 one on the output for a one, and then for this one we have zero, zero, one, zero. So that's pretty much the gist of how you're going to build this. I'll fly over to my main one real quick. Um, this is about the size it's going to be. Uh, the pattern is going to be zero or uh, no torch, torch, no torch, torch, no torch, torch. 
um, for the second thing. If you're used to truth tables, you have off, off, on, on, off, off, on, on. And then once you get a little farther into it, it's four of them instead of two. It's off, 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 on, 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 on. And then we have eight and nine here. So this is the eight and then yes. So that is the first thing in a series of tutorials I'm planning on doing. The next one will be on very compact um, full adders. And then the following one will be on the decimal or the binary to decimal converter. And then finally, I will do seven segment display because I will have a very pretty format um, for that probably by then. So that's all I got for you guys for now. So feel free to subscribe, thumbs up, comment, all of that. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Um, I will reply usually within a few hours, uh, definitely within the next day or two of you leaving it. Um, any question, I'm computer engineering, so if you have any question regarding pretty much anything uh, that you've seen in this video at all, feel free to ask it, and uh, I will get back to you very shortly. So thanks, guys. I will see you all later.